G'day, welcome back. I'd especially like to welcome my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content of my channel. If you missed the last video, there's a link up there now, you can go and watch that one first. Now, uh, after editing that last video, I decided I was looking decidedly scruffy. So I went up and got a haircut and bought myself a new shirt. Uh, because it all kind of felt like a new start. So to go along with the new start feeling, uh, I've been thinking about how I'm going to move forward and I hate that saying, it's the most overused saying in the world, moving forward. But anyway, moving forward, uh, I'm going to try and spend a little less time out here because uh, in the past I was out here pretty much every day. Uh, I don't know how I handle that because I don't like sitting on my fat ass all day doing nothing. So uh, that's what I'm going to do but the, the consequence of that will be there will either be a lot more part one, two, three style videos or shorter videos, one or the other. But uh, I do have one biggish pro project coming up uh, and it involves that uh, weight that I showed you a couple of videos ago. But uh, before I do that there are a couple of smaller ones and this video uh, will I'll be making something that I mentioned I could do with in a video a while back. I don't remember what I was making. I was working on the mill at the time. And I said oh, I could do with a uh, spring-loaded tap follower, so that's what I'm going to make in this video. So follow me out of the lathe and we'll get started on it. There was something I forgot to mention in that opening segment, and that is one of the reasons I'm going to try and cut back is my way of suffering because I've been doing nothing. And I can't get back on my bike, my bicycle, because my knee just won't. The replacement knee, the expensive 250,000 baht knee. Won't, won't put up with slugging it back up the hills to get home again. So uh, I've lashed out and I bought myself an e-bike. So if any of you are interested, I might make a video of, uh, a separate video of the assembly of this thing and maybe my first ride on it. Alrighty, now I didn't get back onto this yesterday. It took me two hours to assemble that bike and then all up and then stuff around with other things. Now once again, as per usual, I have no plans for this. No drawings, no nothing. But I'll, I'll give you a rough idea of what I'm going to do. So. This will be the main body, and I'm going to drill it and ream that out to 10 millimeters inside. And then I'm going to thread the inside of this end and make a small shaft for here. It's no bigger than 12 millimeters because I can't, or well, half inch is the biggest thing I can get in my chuck in here. So uh, I can get up to 20 mil in the mill, so that's not an issue, but I want to be able to use it in here if I have to. And then when I finish that, I'll flip it around and I'll drill and ream an 8 millimeter hole in the other end. I'm going to use piece of 8mm uh, shaft, this is a uh, stainless steel shaft they, they use in the, uh, in the linear bearings. Uh, now my taps, the ones I use a lot, especially in the middle, are 4, 5 and 6. My 4, 5 and 6 taps all have a point on the back. Uh, but the 8 and the 10 have a little hole in the end. So what I'm going to do is the main shaft that, that I use all the time, I'm just going to put a little uh, centre in the, in the end and then I'll make a little cap that will fit over the end of that for the any of the other drills that have a point on the, uh, sorry, that have a, uh, a centre in them so that the little cap will have a point on it but the end of the pin that goes in the back of this will actually have a centre in, internal centre in it. That all makes sense. But anyway, so we'll, we'll face this off and just turn that down a little just to tidy it up. It's bloody hot out here again today and I actually modified the uh, the last roller on the door today which makes it a whole lot easier to close so there was no grunting and groaning to shut that. But it is hot I haven't closed the other the side door so I'll try and keep the noise down. It's Saturday today. That's a 0.8 radius tip and it's not cutting very well at all so I think I'll change it. From memory I think this is actually a piece of SS400 but I can't be 100% certain. I don't really care for what this is. I see I lost a subscriber uh, from last week's video. Can't please everybody all the time can you? And to be honest I don't really care. Alright let's see how this one goes.
looks like I'm getting the center out. Well, the way that was singing, I'm starting to wonder if this is actually a piece of 304 stainless. I did buy a piece a while back. There's a little tiny bit of rust on this, and 304 will rust. Anyway, I'll bring you back later. This is taking too long. Well, I had to peck that a hell of a lot of time, so I thought I wouldn't bore, with it, bore you with it. That's the pilot hole done. I'm, if this is a bit of 304, I'm glad I've got these cobalt drills. It just makes life that much easier. All right, so let's see if we can get this one up in there. Don't want to quite go all the way to the bottom with this one. Alright, that's that. So I think uh, I might let this cool down because I just touched that with my little finger a minute ago and it's just hellishly hot. So I think I'll let it, it's lunchtime, I'll let it cool and when it's uh, cooled down I'll put the rim up. Well, I'm glad I uh, decided to download everything off the camera while I was having some lunch because there was a great big drop of oil on the lens thrown up. But that's what I get for getting too close to everything. Anyway, so this is cooled down to nothing now so we can get on with this reaming. Got to admit that the way that's cutting, I, I definitely think this is a piece of stainless. Well, that's that. That's actually a nice fit up in there. That's cut well. Lovely, but get out of here and it's a bit wobbly. Once you get in there, it looks all right. Okay, I'll get on with it. So the next uh, next cab off rank will be to uh, machine the bit out in the end here to cut a thread in it. But I've got to go and see what I've got. I want, I'd like a 12 by 1 if I've got it, but I don't think I have. But we'll see, we'll see. Alrighty, so I had a look at what taps I've got, and I don't want to be buying one just to do this. But what I do, I don't have, uh, you know, an M12 by 1. What I do have is a half inch by 20, which is, you know, something very similar in uh, pitch. So I'm going to stick that in there, and I've decided rather than make a stem for here, I'll just buy a half inch 20 bolt a stainless one if I can get it, if they don't want too much for it, because that will, if it wants to run out a bit, because the thread's not concentric with the stem, it'll give me a bit of run out to turn it down to 12 mil and I'll just use that screw in there. Alrighty, so I've already uh, drilled and chamfered this hole ready for this. Let's see how we go. I've got an intermediate tap here. This I've got a three tap set, but I'm going to start with the intermediate and then go to the plug tap and see how it goes. Oh, that doesn't want to start in there. That's about what I thought was going to happen. It's going to be some hard work tapping this thread in here, I think. This will even fit that, don't it? Uh, will it fit? No, it won't. I'm going to have to make a larger version of that little tap wrench I made because uh, this tap won't fit it. Oh, Jesus. Um, how am I going to turn this? Interesting. I'll get back to you. I'm having to use the uh, bottoming tap here because the other two taps, because this has only got a 10mm hole behind it, and this is a half inch tap, the other two taps won't, oh yuck, won't fit down into, I'm definitely going to have to buy another tap handle or make one, one or the other. Actually I've got another shifter somewhere but I don't know where it is. 8mm spanner, god. Like I said, I don't want a lot of thread in here. It doesn't need to be very, very long. I mean, four or five threads is probably enough. But I think I'm going to have to go and find my other shifter and uh, finish that off because that's an addition. Actually, that's almost all the way to the bottom now. So uh, maybe it is deep enough. 
I think it's actually chipped this damn tap here, look, just here. I'm, the more I work with this, the more I'm sure that's a piece of stainless. Yeah, I think that might be enough thread for what I need. Alrighty, so while you're looking, uh, I took this out because it was a big long piece and cut it off in the saw with my belief that it's a piece of stainless and the way the saw cut it I'm even more convinced it's stainless. So now I'm going to drill a 5 16th hole in this and then uh, put an 8mm reamer up it. Speed down a bit. See what sort of a job that did. Oh. Beautiful. Like I bought one, only much more better. Alrighty, so I'm assuming that you're all sitting there going, what stops that from falling out of there? Considering that comes all the way up in here. What I'm going to do is turn down a piece of this brass to 10 millimeters so it'll fit up inside there. Drill a hole in it and then turn the end of this down just a little tiny bit and press it on, maybe even lock tight it on there. Uh, considering that all the pressure is back up this way and the spring is pushing down on the top of it, I can't imagine it'll ever come off, so that's what I'm going to do there. I don't think I'll bore you with this bit, it's just a little bit of turning and drilling. Alrighty, so uh, this is a bit of 8mm stainless shaft. I'll try and put a little chamfer in there. This is what I'm looking at here. This is my three millimeter tap, and that's the point I've got to work with. So I can't go too deep with the damn thing. Well, it's not touching there at the moment, so that's okay. And this is the six mil, the biggest one I've got. And this is the little handle I use quite often when I'm doing this stuff. Oh, yeah. That's settled in there, that'll do me. Actually, I've got a tiny little drill there. I might put a little tiny drill up through the hole. But this damn battery's about to go flat, so uh, I'll do that and I'll come back to you. Well, I've got to say, I'm kind of glad I wasn't trying to videotape this. It took me quite a while. Uh, the only way I could get it to work was I used a two and a half millimeter drill up in the end to put the little recess in there. Now it fits in there nice, but I had to turn the outside down a bit and muck around with it. So this fits in there good now, so I'll get on with the rest. Alrighty, so I've flipped this thing around and uh, now machining down the end to fit this little brass end on it. So this will go this will go on the end of that. Quick deeper. It should hope oh, should hope to be a press fit on there. It might put a slightly bigger chamfer on that. Alrighty, so I'll take it over to the uh, vice slash press and press it on. Alrighty, so uh, there we have it. All done. First on there. And get in there. So, all that leaves to be done now is get down to the little engineering shop and buy that uh, half 20 stainless bolt. I did, while you went looking, put a little undercut down in the bottom under that thread. So I'll get a thread, i get a bolt to put on there and then machine that down. Screw it in, lock tight it in. And then the other thing I need to do then is make a little sleeve to go over here that has a point on it.
Hmm, screws up nice. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to assemble this, lock tight that in there, and I might leave it overnight to uh, to make sure it sets nice and hard. And then tomorrow I'll put it back in and turn this thread off here. If you've been enjoying this video up to this point, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give it a great big thumbs up and smash that like button. I'd also like to thank my patrons, their uh, support is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to become a patron, there's a link down in the description. There's also that uh, thanks button down there, you can give that a, a tap and, and throw me a couple of dollars if you like. Or you can get down there in the, uh, in the description, there's buy me a coffee, you can buy me a coffee. But anyway, enough of that, we'll uh, get on with this, I'll put the collar chuck on to finish this off. Did that up as tight as I could yesterday, and uh, with a pair of multi grips, you can see it chewed the thread up a bit, but it's coming off, so it doesn't matter. It ended up a little bit wonky though. That was the idea of using the bolt so that I could uh, machine that off there. Anyway, we'll get into it. Yep, I think I'll have to go down to 10 mil. It's 11.25 and it's still got a fair bit of thread there. So. Well, you know this damn battery's going flat again, so uh, I'll change the battery and I'll come back to you. What's the main part of the tool all finished? Ready to rock? So all I need to do now is make that little uh, pointy adapter to go on this end and we're pretty much done. Well viewers, I was uh, planning on making this a 45 degree point and I set out to machine it to 45 degrees but I've decided it's not pointy enough so uh, I've changed it to 30 degrees and I'll finish this off now. And I made a startling discovery, this thing runs quieter in reverse than it does forward. Well, looking at that, I think I might leave that little tiny tip there, but still 45 degrees. Now, this is a piece of stainless in keeping with the rest of it, so I might polish that up a bit, make it look as nice as the rest of it. Alrighty, so one thing I'm not looking forward to is trying to part this off, because that's a piece about that long. I was going to make this out of a bit of 10 mil, but I've only got the one piece of 10 mil and had two or three bits of 12. So that's a bit of 12 mil around. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to embarrass myself trying to part that off. So I'll try and part it off. And if I can't part it off, then I'll get the angle grinder out and cut it off. But uh, I'll have to turn, flip it around and drill and ream the back of it. Best laid plans of mice and men. Uh, <laughs> didn't have any luck parting that off. It uh, started to cut and the next thing it bit in and just snapped the tip off. So in the end, I decided I only had to take about a half inch off it. So I thought, oh, I'll just drill it out and, and then just machine it off. And the damn thing work hardened on me. So in the end I had no choice but to stick an 8mm cobalt drill up it and then it's chewed the shit out of it and now it's loose. Not happy Jan. Look at that. Hopeless. I mean it might still do the job but I'm not happy about that. Anyway. Well, this one here might be uh, fit for nothing but the box of shame. But this one isn't. This one works a treat. I ended up making that up out of the... Uh, piece that I made the body out of just turned it down and I made it the other way around this time and made it all in one, one go cheated on the back end just used the back edge of the uh, the tip to cut that and then flipped it around and just finished it off with a file and polished it up came up a treat beautiful so I suppose now you want to see it actually being used so we'll wrap the video up with uh, tapping a hole with it shall we alrighty so I've drilled a couple of holes in here one for an 8mm tap which has the point in the back and one for a 6mm tap which has the uh, the point on the end of the tap. So we'll go with this one first. It's about a 6mm thick piece this. There we go, beautiful. Like a ball one. Right, so now we'll uh, get that out of there and we'll do the 6mm one. Alrighty, so that's the 6mm one all loaded up. A bit of oil on there. Well, 
Alrighty, so that's the 6mm one done. Now, before we wrap this up, there's probably a few of you saying, well, why don't you just use one of these instead of mucking around with, with that cap? Well, height's an issue here, and uh, before I was nearly all the way to the top, so adding that into it wouldn't fit. And on the lathe, length is also an issue, so adding that into it wouldn't work out there either. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this build, and uh, you're glad to see me back. And I'd just like to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.